What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who she is. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre-Dame. She must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Cette fois. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. Tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. 
I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location of the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. And you're in! All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now! Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, 
Would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Ow! Leave her alone! Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
It's difficult for yourselves. Will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here, reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern. Master Cormac, I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that is already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac.
Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Do you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Cormac. Charmed. But what are you doing here? Don't mind the action. The Colonel sent me. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's the Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere. And most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <laughs> I tell you what. 
I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste. We should move further west. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany.
splendid! Captain's at the helm! The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Boss, I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! Hold down and clue up! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from some More enemies are the heat! It's always the little fella who gets scared. Ready to fire, sir! You and Gist here seem to spy. Is there something in the water? Or in the whiskey? Now, why do you say that? Should we board and take us? skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Clues up! He's a stick! must be getting close, Captain. Away, Anchor!
Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach... That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. Captain has the head! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. There's our target, Shay! Otherwise, Knock her down like a game in. of knife hits! There. Begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel says! That's their weak spot! Hey! Take the shot, sir! Yeah. Ready to fire! Gun they are firing a bullet! Hit. They haven't fired yeah. here! Yeah. Fire! 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 Fire!
Prince of Wales. Loose all and trim sharp to the wind. Loose topsails, gallants and royals. Careful, Captain. These waters are closely watched by our enemies. Reef in our tops. Pull the half sails. Superb. Now find the fort commander. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst the...
Good dinner, news. The I Colonel just... thanks and congratulates you, Shane. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. We're not done here, Smith. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill the most of you. But that's my first target. Be careful. All the better.
If I mess with this, maybe I can break the whole system. Dangerous! Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. 
I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. 